Okay, so we're going to look at uh, a scrapbook project, which we talked about. Uh, it is going to be due on Monday, May the 26th. Uh, so let's just go over a couple of the uh, key points here. So what do I need? Basically, you're finding one article from a reputable newspaper, magazine, blog, etc., on each of the following topics. Okay, Population, health medicine, resources, so like natural resources, we talk about oil, gas, uh, economics, politics, environment, science, technology, military conflict, and then the last one's future predictions, things that are outward looking. Again, some of these are going to involve multiple topics as long as you clearly identify, okay, they should be in order as well when you're putting your scrapbook together. Put it in order like this would probably be a good way to do it. That's easy. Okay, I'm going to look up one on population. Find an article on what's going on, maybe the population uh, increase or decrease in a particular country, anything that talks about population in general, okay? So what is a reputable site? We think of things like this, the Globe and Mail, the National Post, the Guardian of London, the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, cbc.ca, the Huffington Post, the Washington Post, the BBC, Reuters, Associated Press. Those are all major news organizations that we can, are fairly trustworthy as far as, they, you know, as, as they go, okay? Uh, and a good starting point, uh, Google News is, a, is an easy place to start, right? So if you hit that uh, link, uh, it's gonna pull up uh, a, basically a specific search engine for uh, Google News in general. And here are some of the top stories. I don't really care about the Billboard Music Awards or the Montreal Canadiens at this point or the Preakness Stakes. Those are things that are not part of what we're doing. The thing here, we have a flood uh, today is a one-year anniversary of a massive uh, tornado in uh, Oklahoma, okay? So uh, Credit Suisse is another one that could be looked at for economics, for instance. So let's just look at the Credit Suisse uh, uh, mining accident. There's another great one. So I'll pop open a couple. There was a mining accident that happened in Turkey. That could fall under maybe resources because they were mining and a bunch of people have died, okay? And again, we see the website, CTV News, CBC, CTV. Some of them are uh, video, some of them are news stories. Let's pull up, um, this one's from the CBC. I'm gonna see if it's a video or a news article. Okay, so it is a video, but also there is a, a written article here. So what we could do is, in order to give me the article as well as the URL, a couple things you need to do. The simplest way to grab the text from the article, because I, I, I want to see at least, if we're putting this together, right, basically we're looking at, for each of the 10 topics, there's going to be two pages probably, roughly. One page is our article. Let's do our best. If, if we're doing this, like even if we're not printing it, let's do our best to get the article on one page, even if the font size is eight. I don't need pictures. I don't need any of that. Then the next page is the brief summary of what the article is about, your personal reflection. Okay, so what we can do is actually go ahead and I'm going to highlight this. Watch what I'm doing here. I know there's a lot of con there's a lot of media in there and whatnot, but I can actually oh, highlight all this and I can hit Control C on my keyboard. I'm going to uh, paste it into Notepad because Notepad has no formatting in it. Now to have it here, I can put that into a Word document. And I'm going to right click and paste it. So now it's all there. Now this spreads out over what? Uh, at least a few pages. But that's OK. There's ways to fix that. There's, see a bunch of it, the way it pastes is not great. The Facebook stuff, we can delete all that, take that all out. OK, I can highlight everything and make it uh, single space by clicking this and going to one. Uh, my page layout, I can change it to narrow. Again, that's going to help. And then I can take all these spaces out, right? I don't need all this stuff here. Okay. Once you have all that in, okay, and again, do your best. Even if you delete some of the story, that's fine. I just want to have it put on one page in case the URL that you give me doesn't work. Okay. And to get the URL, it's simple. We go back to the site. It's this thing up here. Okay, www.cbc.ca slash whatever. I know it's really long. Okay, you can just right click and copy that. Uh, and then we'll paste it somewhere in the article at the stop, top or the bottom. 
So it's there. Okay, and then you're gonna write your uh, you're gonna write up your report. So just looking at that, okay, you're summarizing the article's contents. So one paragraph, just summarizing what the whole thing is about. A paragraph could be as short as what? Four or five par sentences, really. Explain how the article topic is a world issue. Again, a couple sentences. And then about a half page reaction. Again, I don't need, I'm not looking for like 200 words. I'm looking for a solid paragraph, more or less. So basically, a paragraph summarizing it, a brief explanation of how it's a world issue, and then you're a paragraph on, uh, it's about the topic and its implications to the world. And then move on, okay? So if we would have been diligently working on this, you know, we could have done an article a week sort of thing, but this might take some more time. Uh, again, if we're going to do it all in one big Microsoft Word file, we could do that. I could show you how to put a table of contents in and make it a PDF, and then we could turn it in either a hard copy that we printed, or we can uh, actually make a scrapbook, or we can do something like a Prezi, et cetera, okay? Was there any big questions right now on this? So what we're going to do all week from today on is we are going to be working on the netbooks. I'm going to have two carts in here per day. Hopefully that's enough to get us by. And then overflow I could send. Today we're good because we're lacking quite a few students. But we could send a few different people down to the 319 as well. Okay. Any other pressing questions right now? No? Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, start from there. And again, we're going to have this all handed in on uh, Monday, May 26th. Super important I have it then. Okay. Because then, other than that, I'll just start uh, calling home and whatnot, okay? All right, good luck.